Good morning, guys. I have one of my favorite breeds here that I'm going to groom. Um, it's a Newfoundland. And it's a Landseer marked. It's black and white. This guy is ginormous. He's only a year old, so he's still considered a puppy. They are not full grown till two or three years old. So we're going to get him up on the scale if we can and see how much he weighs. Come here, bud. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on, bud. Come on. Can you sit? Stay. About 125 pounds. Good boy. We're just going to get started on this guy. He's going to take a while. We're doing a undercoat removal and we're going to shave the belly per owner's request because he gets hot and matted under there. Come on. It's his first time being groomed, so it may take a little bit for him to get up in this tub. I'm not lifting him up. He weighs 125 pounds. Come on, bud. I gotta get your leg up there. I gotta get your leg up there. So this is what I do when I have dogs that are way too big to lift. I'll put their front feet in and then lift their back end up in there. And that's how I get them in there. I'm gonna mix up some whitening shampoo, try to get all this red, orangey tinge out. We live in Oklahoma, we have a lot of red soil. Okay, I'm just feeling for mats. There's a few in here, but uh, I think we'll be able to get them out. Probably take a full gallon of shampoo mix with all your slobber. Okay, just gonna mix up. Um, this will be used on a different dog. I'm just gonna mix up some of the whitening shampoo for this guy. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll get started bathing him. So I know I'm gonna get some questions about what um, is whitening shampoo. It just, it's the same principle that we humans have with purple shampoo. It just takes out those brassy undertones and makes the coat look a little whiter than than it appears to be. Huh, your head is so big. Your head is so big. And you're so sweet. Okay, we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna try to get everything wet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some towels down because I'm sure the floor is going to get soaked. This is one of my absolute favorite breeds. I would love to have one. Uh, just to get a well-bred one by an experienced breeder, there's usually a two to three year wait, waiting list. Huh. So now that we've got soap on him, okay, I'm going to turn it to the rinse 
and we're gonna get started with some heavy conditioner. Might take a whole bottle to get this guy done. So the reason I don't rub it in, because I've had a lot of people ask, is because I I've found that when I rub it in, it goes away quicker. You're okay. You guys gotta keep in mind, this is his first screw. Good boy. This guy should definitely have been brought in earlier, been brought in sooner. He should start grooming, especially with dogs that are this heavy coated at about eight weeks. All dogs should start grooming at eight weeks. You're okay, bud. You're okay. There's, this is gonna take a while. He's got a ton of undercoat. You're okay. So nervous, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. See all the undercoat coming out? But this guy has a ton, a ton. Um, it's gonna take me a minute to get all this done. You're okay, buddy. It's okay. Boy, you're okay. You're okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good 
Good boy. Good boy. You're okay. You're okay. You guys can see just a massive amount of hair coming out. You're okay. Boy. Guys, oh my goodness, this is so much fur. You're okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try to pick some of this up because if I don't, it's going to clog that drain. And with as much fur as coming out, we really don't want that. Get, trying to get out, bud. I'm 
take a break in a minute. Uh, my arm is really hurting from having to go back and forth. your dogs with grooming at eight weeks. take a break for a minute my arm is killing me my shoulder is about oh that dog is thirsty give the dog a drink guys most of the time when you see a dog panting like this it's because they're anxious they're nervous it has nothing to do with thirst this guy it's his first groom he's having to go through an undercoat removal he's anxious You're okay, bud. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy.
No, no, no. No. We're not doing that. A lot of this is probably gonna have to be blown out with the high velocity dryer. But I wanna get out as much as I can. No, no, no. No. starting to hold water dang it it's not what I wanted I want to get out as much undercoat as I can with the bathing system So how this works is, nope, we're not doing that. Come on. Come on, we're not doing that. The bathing system gets underneath the loose hair and it shoots it out. The conditioner helps it slip. No. Bud. You're okay. turn this water off. I'm going to move him over here after I get all this hair up. Come over here. going down in there. I know a lot of you are like, why are you not throwing that hair away? Uh, I gotta keep it so I can have a good thumbnail. If you guys don't want to watch this part, you can go ahead and skip ahead if you want to. There's a big mat right there that we'll have to cut out 
there's some behind the ear that we'll have to cut out. You can still see there's just humongous chunks of fur coming out. Guys, if you are going to get a dog, a puppy, please do your research on what is going to be required for training and for grooming. Um, this dog should have been started at eight weeks and been brought in every single month. Good, buddy. I've had some people ask if all the dogs I groom are named Buddy. No. Um, I just call all the dogs Buddy unless they're girls. And then I call them girl. Okay, I've got to get this side done. He's not wanting me to get this side done. We've been working on the other side the whole time. I got to get, I got to get this side done. You're okay.
Okay. Good boy. Good boy. You're okay. You're okay. Oh. You're okay, boy. You're doing good. We're getting closer. You're okay, bud. holding water again so I'm gonna turn that off real quick and since he is sitting I'm just going to spray again I'm just gonna get all this This is why a lot of the time when I'm doing an undercoat removal, I will remove these grates. It is more slippery, but it allows me to not have to, you know, stop and, and clean the drain as much because I can clean it as I go and the bathtub's not filling up with water. You're okay. Sit. I need you to sit, boy. Sit. Sit. I need to get this back back here. There's a lot of fur in there. This tub's holding water.
So I would recommend a dog like this that is going to consistently have a lot of undercoat needs to be brought in at least once a month. Once a month. over here oh my goodness um i know some of y'all y'all are gonna hate me for doing this because it's gonna be a little more slippery but i am gonna take these grates out um as i finish him um because it's just it's time consuming and I need to get him done. So. No. Just gonna get the majority of this hair off. Stay down. No. Down. Just gonna take that out. And then. Good boy. Easy. Once this drains, we'll get all the hair into one spot. Guys, this is what us groomers have to deal with. And a lot of groomers don't have to deal with this because they don't do the undercoat removals in the bath. But, you know, this is what I have to deal with. Just twirling this around with my finger just to clear the drain. That water can go down. Easy boy. Hey, 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 hey. Come over here. Come over here. Come here. Okay. Just going to rinse this. Easy. Hey, 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 hey. Buddy. Buddy, you got it. Quit pulling. Hey, 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 hey. Buddy. What are we doing? You're going to hurt yourself. Buddy. Hey, stop. You're going to hurt yourself. What are we doing? Just gonna get the majority of this hair off. Oh, he's like flipping out. Okay. All right, come over here. No. We're not doing that. Stop. <sighs> uh. 
Okay. No. You're okay. Down. Just burp. That stinks. You're okay. Okay. I'm going to focus on getting this other side now. Because I've got to get this done. He's just freaking out. And Stop. You're fine. The water's going cold. And then we still have to bathe them. So I want to make it very clear that the hair is not going down the drain. There is a strainer that catches the hair and then the hair goes in the trash. Yeah, this is so much better. boy. Good boy. You're okay. I need to get his back and he won't sit for me to do his back. So I'm gonna have to do it across like this. See all that hair coming out.
Well, if you would sit, good boy. Then I could get this. Good boy. Brushing this dog out will not get all this hair out. It's impacted, so I have to get underneath it to get it out. Remember, we still have to bathe this guy. Easy. Okay. We're going to bathe him. Okay, this soap is not going to get all this um, discoloration out. Buddy. Gotta turn this way, bud. Gotta turn this way. <sighs> oh. Oh.
it over a little bit. Hey. Here comes the dangerous part of washing their head. Nope, nope, nope. You can see how that water's turning green instead of blue. That's because of the dirt that's coming off of him. His ears are real dirty. Jeez. Now we're gonna rinse him and then we're gonna dry him. I need to text this client real quick. Um, they have a dog here and it's ready. I just wanted to be almost done with this dog before they came so I didn't have to, you know, cause I can't, I can't leave him in the tub. All right. All oh, this soap rinsed out. We want to make sure to get all the soap out. No! Okay, but you gotta stand up. Up, up, up. So as I dry, I am going to brush. I don't usually do that on most dogs, but there is so much undercoat left in here. Rinse the head. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'm gonna let him shake a couple times. I don't know what this is. It's kind of like a burn. But I'm just gonna let him shake and then let him sit here for a minute, let some of that drip off and then we'll get started drying him. Okay, I got the brushes. Um, got the ear protection and we're just gonna get started because this is gonna take a minute.
God, you're doing good. battery died I got him in the cage dryer I'll show you all him in a minute um, but I gotta get this mess cleaned up I need to start bringing extra clothes to work because I am completely soaked I'm just gonna rinse all this down if you guys don't want to watch this part go ahead and skip ahead but this is clean up. So that is all the hair that we got out of him. That is a ton of hair. If this was dry, it'd be probably 30 times as big. It's a 
massive amount of hair. Just gonna put that in the trash can. Ooh, there's a little bit of warm water now. A lot of people ask um, what watch I use. I will leave the link down below. It's a Garmin Venu. It is waterproof. I get a lot of people that are concerned if my watch is waterproof or not. It most definitely is. I love the Garmin watches. I've never had an issue with them um, getting ruined by water. I've gone swimming in them. You know, I bathe dogs with soap every day with them. They're an amazing, amazing company. Not sponsored, guys. All right. Just gonna get this last little bit out of here. And that is clean up. Now I gotta deal with this floor. <sighs> It'd be really nice to have a drain in the floor. That way I could just rinse all that down. Hey, I have another dog that I'm grooming today, but I'm gonna go ahead and start this because I don't want too many towels in a load. This is disinfectant. I got asked why I'd use this instead of bleach. Bleach is really harsh when you're using it every day. So that's why I use this instead of bleach. All right, so you can see he fits just fine in here. I got both dryers going on him. He's got both sides open. And we'll just wait until he's dry. It may take a little bit, um, but then we'll get him, get him groomed. So thankfully I have extra clothes up here for when this happens. I am literally soaked head to toe. My shorts are wet, my shirt underneath is wet. I'm gonna go change shirts, go put a clean smock on um, and it'll just make me feel a little better. It won't be covered in nasty, dirty water. All right guys, we're gonna get this guy finished. I'm gonna remove some of this slobber. Hey, he did not get dry. He was in the cage dryer for over an hour and he is still wet. All right, so I've got my brushes here. I have a, I've seen quite a few comments of why don't you get a bigger table? Guys, this is the biggest table they make. You want a table that you can get around on either side. And if you get any bigger than this, you can't do that. Okay. So I'm just going to brush him out. Up, up, up. recommend this brush and the other brush to people I will put a link down to these in the comments this is a Chris Christensen brush it's a long pin brush long pin slicker brush highly recommend it to anyone that has long coated dogs so we're gonna get this guy dry a little bit better. 
Gonna brush at the same time. Not turning it on super high. I don't wanna freak him out. bud. I can feel it.
it is matted back here so some of this is going to have to be shaved out but i want to get this as dry as possible take some show sheen and we're gonna brush that in stop and take the big brush I am definitely going to tell this owner that they need to come in more often. Um, this dog needs to be coming in at least once a month, but preferably, you know, every two weeks or so. You're so good. You know that? You're so good.
I'm gonna get my clippers and we are going to start cutting out mats. This is a 15, I believe. Okay. We don't want to go just just in there and start shaving. We want to get to the base of the mat and then shave it. Okay. It's all matted. Check. Make sure. Yeah, there's some more matting in there. Okay. So when this ears down, you won't you won't even be able to tell that we shaved back there. It's uh there was quite a few mats. There's a big one right there. I know that there's a big one on this side. Quite a quite a large one on this side. They wanted me to shave the belly. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Gosh, I can't even tell what I'm doing under there. Up. <clears throat> Gonna sit so I can see better. Yeah, there's mats all up in this um, private area. This is actually matting under here. Um, yeah. 
please guys, if you're gonna have dogs that are this breed, you know, that have a ton of coat, please do your research before you buy them, adopt them, okay? Um, I just can't make that clear enough. You have got to be able to maintain your dog. There is so much under here that is matted. Okay, so I am gonna save that to show the owner Buddy, you gotta stand up. No, no, no. Stand up. This guy is intact. So we need to be careful. When we're back here. I'm just cutting out mats. That's all I'm doing. Um, this guy also needs to get on flea and tick prevention. If this was my dog and it was in this rough a shape, I would have done a shave down. Um, just because there's so much matting and undercoat. Yeah, I know you're not supposed to shave a Newfoundland, but there is just so much matting. Okay, remember there's this mat in this tail. Right, we're gonna get out. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna start trimming. Easy.
don't lick my head. <laughs> oh, my hand is hurting so bad. All right. He's doing really good for his first time. Aren't you, bud? Aren't you? Yes, 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 yes. With your drooliness. Up, up, up. Yep. Come on, bud. There we go. Okay, some mats on the inside of here. Stacking right. Okay. Y'all are gonna be like, what's that? It's a show term. He's not standing right and I can't get to this the right way. Buddy, no, you got to stand up. <sighs> Ew, buddy, please. Ew, I can feel it on my scalp. Ew. Thanks for the kisses, but I don't want big slobbery kisses. No big slobbery kisses. Easy, bud. Hey, bud.
we are just about done with this guy um boy does he have a ton of hair sit Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. He's helping me <laughs> with that. I'm gonna clear off the table. Up, up. And get all this hair off. I can take an after picture. <clears throat> Ah, uh, quit, quit. I think I've changed my mind about wanting one of these after doing the grooming. I say, you know, thank you. I'll get a Great Dane. Doesn't require. Hey, bud. Yeah, that's the edge of the table. Hey, buddy. Okay, give me one from this side, huh? Bud, I gotta get on the table all the way. Stand up. Hey, bud. Hey, bud, 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 bud. All right. Whew. All right, guys. His nails didn't need to be trimmed. We got everything else done. Boy, that was a lot of work. I will definitely be telling them that they need to come in more often. Um, you can see all the hair that I cut out and got off. It's blowing everywhere. So, here's what he looks like. Got to get all this hair cleaned up, and then I got to get started on my last dog of the day. All right, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, this video. I really enjoyed grooming him. It was a lot of work, um, but I love these dogs. I love big dogs, and I've told you guys that before. I do a lot of little dogs. I don't get a ton of big, big dogs like this, um, but I loved it. And don't forget to check out the links down below. The bathing system I use is down below. It's a savior fur. The nozzle is by the same company. I have an Amazon storefront with everything that I use and recommend. The, the slicker brushes are on there. Everything that I use is, is on there unless it's you know special like the tub or something. You can't get those off of Amazon. Uh, we do have a personal wish list and uh, Lydia also has one below too. And then we also have the Oklahoma Humanitarian Relief Team information down below. It is where we go out every weekend. We go and help those experiencing homelessness. We give out food and drink bags with a full day's worth of calories. We hand out tents, sleeping bags, radios, and everything um, that is donated is mainly from viewers and subscribers like yourself. So if you would like to help, the information is down below. The website is oklahomahrt.com. We have a wish list down below, and then we also have a GoFundMe and a PayPal. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.